Good morning from Movie Park, Germany. We are back at the childhood phase. I love this. When I was a kid, this was Disney World to me. Because you live 45 minutes away and we'd go here. And it was a big deal. Back in the cup car chase days. Project for today. Explore as much as we can. And a big focus on some of the stuff that we haven't written yet. Since our last visit here in 2018, they have added or they've upgraded um, the Bermuda Triangle attraction to Area 51. They have also updated the Rapids Ride to Excalibur, Secrets of the Dark Forest. They have added a new roller coaster and they have repainted their SLC, among things we're going to be exploring today. I lost Alex already. I'm just so excited. <laughs> he just can't hide it, so he hides himself. <laughs> Alrighty, That's let's exactly. head into the park. I love Good all movie park. I mean, I, their, their Sunset Boulevard is quite nice. This part is. Yeah. It's a good entrance. It's so wild that there's several attractions in front of the park that are so removed because yeah, everything else is after this road. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can't wait to also check out the Spanish park maybe later this year. I think we're planning on a little Spain trip this fall. The last remaining Water Brothers park of the continent. Because they're all over ever too. So well I guess the Sea Guys parks are Water Brothers too. Yeah. Water Brother vibes. <laughs> Now straight ahead is the stunt theater. This park is like known for its car stunt shows. That's something that was introduced with the launch of Wonder Brothers Movie World. And it's still a big thing. Who we'll have time to see today? I'm not sure. We have a lot we're trying to get done. This park has a lot more to do than you may think. There is dark rides, roller coasters, lots of water rides. The infamous bandit, haha. <laughs> All the good stuff. So that way you got the fun housing factory. And the rest of the park, we're actually heading towards Nickland. And also, in the back of Nickland, we have the new Studio Roller Coaster. And the Excalibur Secrets of the Dark Forest Water Ride, which opened as the Never Ending Story Rapids ride, that my family and I were incredibly fond of as kids. So I look forward to seeing its third iteration now. <laughs> about to ride Movie Park Studios, the newest, most excitable attraction here. Woo! The train going overhead, you can't really see it. There it is. Fun, fun. Got some old timers, got some theming. Amazing. Good morning. This is super cute. Oh, uh, look at the cup car chairs. Um, signed it.
So this got off of a Moon Park Studios. Babe, what do you think? I think that's my favorite ride here. It's super cute, and I think <laughs> our favorite part is that um, they took the whole movie studio idea, and they took attractions from the parks past and present, and used those as like all sorts of movie posters, and there's blueprints, and the, the queue is awesome. Like it's quite impressive how beautiful this whole ride setup is, and. It's a roller coaster inside a giant show building and they somehow have a bunch of suspended scenes so no matter where in the show building you are there are there are scenes. Really, really impressive. Um, really, just, really, really uh, like it. I mean it's not really like a coaster coaster, but the point where you're like, okay, if you're gonna think about just a coaster I part. I think it's, it's just a perfect dark ride roller coaster hybrid. Like just perfect. Yeah, for sure. It's really, really cool. They've accomplished, I think, something really special here with all the practical effects and there's just there's so much. It does so much. In this little package. Here's our good friend, Blue Park Studios. Um, yeah, it's really fun. Maybe um, early in the vlog, you'll you may have seen some of the uh, the posters that are in the entrance room, like the cup car chase movie poster, all the kind of stuff. Now, um, on their website, thecozykings.com, make sure that you check out the actual report. There'll be more pictures there of like the models that are in the queue, uh, especially if you have a relationship with this park from the past, you'll really appreciate all the Easter eggs. This is like one giant Easter egg attraction. Everything in here kind of refers to maybe like a past attraction or a current attraction um, inside the park. I'm a really, really big fan. Just, I'm like struggling to find the words. <laughs> also, this uh, new store just opened. So uh, it looks really cute in here. It opened I'm this season. All, all Move Park Studio merch. They have Dunkin' Donuts, also very American. So that's cute. I say we ride again, actually. <gasps> look at this hoodie! Yeah, New Park City hoodie, babe. Babe, look at this vibe. Super cute. Okay, we're gonna probably ride again, and we'll catch you guys after the next ride. So Alex having a complete meltdown. A good one. Because it's like his favorite coaster in Germany right now. Own up to it. Own up to it. I, I'm obsessed. I am really crazy about this ride just now. Admittedly, it is very, very, very good. Um, I'm so impressed with the amount of theming that they have put into this coaster. I mean, there's only a small outdoor section, which is what we're filming right now, because we can't film on the ride. But it's really, really impressive what they have done. The queue pre-show. And then the scenes on the ride itself. Uh, it's, it's it's all around great stuff. Woo! Here comes a little studio tour car. Little airtime moment. Some call it that. Good stuff. Second ride around is even better. Now we would love to ride this thing all day, but we have other stuff to cover. So let's head to the next ride. Are you sure we can't ride? and that means they're opening up the queue for Excalibur which we're really excited to ride. Travis tried. I'm gonna go ahead and join this nice long queue wherever the queue is going. Open 
for the queue has been open for Excalibur. Let's join this crowd in for what I believe is one of Europe's greatest Krampus rides. Let's see if my memory serves well. And it's still the hype. Same plaza as before. Uh, this time we actually exited out of this building right behind us. We just rode Excalibur Secrets of the Dark Forest. Um, awesome ride. Great. It's, it's, it's fantastical how nice the queue is. It's, I don't know what I'll say. It's awesome. Like, it's a great ride. Top tier rapids ride. It's long. It has a large Lots indoor section. Great section. Uh, great scenes. There's a story. Lots of fun choices. Little water effects. Lighting schemes. Audio animatronics. Like... Just and really uh, yeah, nice it has a mix of things. Yeah, like it's not too wet, but you do have a little bit of a, uh, you know, that, that sensational splits. factor where... Our butts got wet, but our socks are dry, and that's what matters. Exactly. Wet socks are the worst. Overall, great stuff. Uh, definitely don't miss it, because it's kind of hidden. Like, if you don't look for the marquee, you'll never find the ride. Like, literally, not yeah. even kidding. It is so hidden in the back of the park. I went here a couple years ago with a friend who had been here several times, and they literally never stumbled upon that. <laughs> so don't miss it. It's one of the largest rapid rides in Europe. It's, it's really, really long. It's awesome. Um, great theming. Definitely uh, something you can't miss when you're here at Mufar, Germany. At least the trees, the forest are a good uh, indicator of where to go. It's true. Well, forest. The only forest in this Nickland area. Yeah. All right, guys. And, uh, on to the next attraction. We don't know what it is yet, so uh, we'll let you guys yeah. know in a little bit. Check out the rest of the park. <laughs> Bye. This is the main street that we came from earlier. We'll go back there in a little bit to ride Area 51 which is a major um, flume dark ride. But first, let's head to our this side of the park. With yeah, attractions. Right, now. right. Attractions such as Fun Housing Factory, Time Riders, Star Trek Operation Enterprise, High Fall, Bandit, MP Express, all the, all the big stuff is on this side of the park. So the other side we just came from is a lot more densely packed with attractions. But if we're gonna look at like big large scale attractions, they're most on this side of the park. So all but two of the e tickets. Exactly. It's kinda of funny how e tickets are located because it's definitely like a Warner Brothers holdover having big show buildings all around the all around the, yeah. the park's plot despite having built new themed lands within it. So you kinda of have to cross through Nick Land to get to Blue Park Studios, or to get to Excalibur, even though they're not Nickelodeon themed. Studio so, back lot. Uh, oh, High Fall is open. Of course High Fall is open. The only thing close today should be Lost Temple. Temple thing, yeah, that's awesome. Time Riders. I say we come back a little bit later. It's not quite as big a priority. I say we head into Fun Housing Spectre first, because that is what we call a priority. That's one of the best indoor coasters in the world, in my opinion. Absolutely surprisingly awesome. Think of the old show building of the Gremlins Dark Ride and in true move park fashion. It is now a roller coaster. And we just got off of Fun Housing Factory. The line was about 40 minutes, but it moves so fast. Yeah. Really impressive. It loads one car at a time and it's a first style above set coaster. So, just you know, it's four people per dispatch. A really marvelous ride. Uh, Fantastic. 
gets me every time. I really can't say enough good things. About Amazing it. theming, quite forceful for the fact that it's like how tall? Like, 30, oh, like 25 forceful. feet? Like, I it's mean, this is a short this ride. This is like a, a, a majorly intense ride because the laterals are so extreme. Yeah, oh yeah, the wild miles part, as I call it, it is completely in the dark. It's definitely more intense than it Star is Trek Operation Enterprise. Stupid <laughs> intense. Great, great ride. Um, always a good time. Sometimes you ride stuff and you're really enamored with it. Like when it's open in 2011 and I rode it and I was like, wow, it's the greatest thing ever. Um, and then, you know, 2018 we liked it. Sometimes I'm kind of afraid of going back to rides and be like, oh, maybe it's not as great as I remember yeah. it. This is still as amazing as always. Definitely so strong. Absolutely fantastic indoor coaster, can't miss. So, and now we're gonna head over to Area 51 at the front of the park where um, we can also get a nice look at Star Trek Operation Enterprise. Oh, so yes. we're looking forward to doing that. Yeah. Maybe we'll grab some water on the way and uh, we'll see you guys there. And here we have Area 51, which has a bit of a line, but that's okay. It is an e-tickets attraction here. We're about to uh, join the first ever open visitation day at the Groom Lake Air Force Base. But will we be excited to see what lies beyond? These volcanoes. Oh, actually, they're not like volcanoes. Now they are yeah. mountains, which they cleverly did with putting a um, satellite tower on top of the rock work in the back. Oh, it's more Star Trek going up. Just got off of Area 51, the classic flume ride, dark ride at the park. Formerly Bermuda Triangle. Uh, alien encounter. Yeah. Honestly, we love the update. The yeah. scenery is awesome. It's really cute. Kind of works with having Star Trek right next to you. The scenes inside are excellent. They're all in great shape. Really. Lots really of animatronics. Well yeah. And uh, I forgot how big the first drop is. So you go into the into the mountain, and then the first thing you do once you get into the sh into the show building is this giant drop, and it's actually a really big drop. Yeah. And it's very very wet. Yeah. Um, the first drop is wetter than the than the second. And the drop. second drop about the same size comes from the top of that mountain yeah. over there, and then you know spits out outside. Yeah. Um, overall, it's in great shape. Really enjoyed this. Probably the top five at the park. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think I like this even better than Excalibur. I would agree because Excalibur has a couple more rough edges, a little more outside. This thing is entirely yeah. inside. It's a long ride. It's probably this like, is a true like four dark or five ride. minutes this dark is ride. Like yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean sort of vibe. Not obviously not with the same budget as as Pirates, but 
Maybe this is probably better higher budget than Magic Kingdom's Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> right? I would definitely take this over Magic Kingdom's Pirates of the Caribbean, and that's the kind of ride that this is. Really, um, the, the animatronics are awesome, just really fluid motions. And also the original animatronics, too. So, um, the mix of the original stuff and the new stuff together, it really works out. It's very nice. Um, big fan of the ride. I may even want to ride it again later if it's yeah, not too busy. I would love to ride it again. It's a too. super nice dark ride. We love a good dog ride vibe. Yeah. So, uh, yep. Alrighty, guys, we're gonna now head over to Star Trek Operation That's Enterprise. Amazing. Because operations at Operation Enterprise have been operationally amazing. So, let's go. Woo! I think it's launching right now, actually. Let's uh, catch the back spike real quick. It's gonna come through in a couple seconds. Yeah, this ride has had a train on the tracks so nonstop. That's the back row for me. Yeah. It's an absolute backseat ride. We welcome you to Federation Plaza. But you earlier this season there were some thematic issues. Looks like they've already fixed it because we saw a yeah, vlog from a couple weeks ago. And it looks spectacular. Yeah. Not the holodeck simulator. Wow. Okay guys, we're like big big fans as part of Movie Park because I like Star Trek yeah. a lot. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Let's get going. So we're gonna enter the Starfleet Academy Recruitment Center. Which is our start of our journey. And this is one of Europe's most impressive queues. I will say that. It is this sci-fi queue of the century. It is modern. It is a vibe. It is full of Easter eggs. You know, if you like Picard, or The Forge, or Miss Crusher, or even Data, which is my favorite character of this new generation situation. I love that logo. I want merch with that logo on it. I want, oh, I want that logo. Tattoo vibe. Okay, that'd be really obsessive. Oh my god, look at this Star Trek outfits. Uh, it's the Borg Cube. And look at the line, it isn't too crazy right now, which is really refreshing. Because I will say, this is the e-ticket poster here. Go ahead and continue forward. Okay, this is the cube. There's lots of Easter eggs. And I do feel bad because those people in front of us keep going through all the switchbacks, so there's no need for it. And this is where the pre-show adventure started. Oh no, where are we going? Oh, at least the holodeck is not in use right now. That's okay. So let's pretend we got beamed up to the Star Trek Enterprise. Which We're at the Enterprise. There is a bar cube, our biggest threat. So there used to be pre-show here. I think COVID kind of killed that. That's okay. Because there's no line, it looks like. boarding our emergency shuttlecraft for our operation, appropriately titled Operation Enterprise. So since there was like nearly no way, we actually got on Star Trek Operation Enterprise twice, used a few minutes. Amazing ride, still as good as I remember. In fact, I think it's a little better than I remember. <laughs> they weren't doing the pre-show, uh, COVID killed that. Yeah. But the, um, the actual ride experience is great. They still have all the moving doors, all the lights, all yeah, the audio. On That's the all. Itself, like the ride itself is not affected. It's very well maintained. And it's running really great. It's definitely a back row ride or back car ride because you have, of course, yeah. that backwards 180 degree turning spike. Um, that's really great. Got some good air going off, coming off of that. It's also, I guess, you know, one of the highlights of the ride. Um, elements wise, just a great ride. It's not talked about enough, I don't think. The back um, seat it really has that double header of the back spike, twist, airtime, and then the really intense airtime coming off of the top hat. Exactly, and then there's a couple of good airtime moments where there's intense airtime. Overall, great ride. Now we're walking around the Santa Monica area. This is the area that killed Cup Car Chase. <laughs> we are walking on Cup Car Chase's now, loop. Now. <laughs> However, Cup Car Chase. Operation, <laughs> Operation Enterprise is a good replacement. And if you see the show building right there, it's actually the show building of Area 51. So it's quite far away from the rest of the ride, uh, which is kind of nice. So the lift hills of Area 51 take you kind of to and from the show building. That's all the way back here. Um, great stuff. Now we're heading towards what well, maybe Alex's favorite area of the park. The Wild West area. The Wild Wild West area. Yeah, the two quintessential 90s theme park. Additions, a Cyclone, Clone, and a Macoma SLC. So the SLC is looking fresh. They just repainted it um, as part of the step-by-step -step transformation towards Wiki Luke. Yeah. 
and then they have yes <laughs> and then we have Bandit, which we're into drinks, so it's good. We've had a few people ask us, are you guys YouTubers? Honestly, yeah, I feel channel? like it's so in Europe, it's a little, yeah, people care a lot more. Oh, they're definitely running two trains up Bandit. I know, I, I literally just said that. <laughs> Sidekick, also a classic. How many of these houses do we have left in America? Not a whole lot, but here, all the old Six Flags Sea Park still have them. Because Log of Holland also has theirs. And then Highfall. Look at that SLC. Everyone hates SLCs, but I'm gonna give this one another shot. I didn't write it last time we were here. Like right? Because um, our experiences on the El Condor and on the Meat were actually really good. So now I want to see if Lucky Coaster Kings, the ride, is also still very good. This part of the park is just throwback. Looks like the line wouldn't be too long, which is nice. It really does look great. So we just got off MP Express. I didn't run it. Running like a dream. Yes, running like a dream. We I don't had, know what. We had a great ride. I don't know on what alternate universe we are currently experiencing and living in because, like, all three SLCs the last couple of days have been enjoyable. Like, best SLCs in the world situation. Yeah. And this, I don't remember this being good at all. No. <laughs> My previous visits, and now it's actually running good. See, so. I remember this one being okay in 2013. It was Limit that was really bad. Now Limit is good. This was good. This was easy. Glasses, earrings, no problem. I'm just picking to you no know, second to ride the SLC again. Yeah, we may we probably hit this one up again later. And also, operations are so great. I mean, they are pumping these two trains out, uh, which means that if you want to ride this, it's not going to be a time commitment uh, like it might be at some parts. So we had a great time. <laughs> you too. <laughs> <laughs> and next up is Bandit. Like going straight back into line too. <laughs> <laughs> what a vibe. And now, for the unkindest cut of all. <laughs> Welcome back to Bandit. I really love this ride. Alex loves Bandit. And he's a Bandit purist. I mean, I don't hate Bandit. Because this is my first wooden coaster. And my dad always called this the big American roller coaster. Big American roller coaster. So, now we're going to go ride the big American roller coaster. And it's themed to the Wild West, of course. Oh, we're using the... Uh, we're using the big queue today. Oh, they have a whole story for it? Queue. Ah, that's, that's, there used to be a concession stand back there. And I had two visited. The favorite part of the queue is this giant safe room. Oh my god, there's nobody here. Wow. Yeah, so this is the bank vault. So we're obviously robbing a bank. This is the vault below the bank. We're gonna go. Filming on the coaster right back in the beginning. Oh yeah, this is the manufacturing process, the uh, construction. This is cool. Look at that. Anywho, onto the station we go. This is a walk on? This is, when is Bandit a walk on? This is like the most popular right here. We a long line. Girl, look at this. There's nobody here. And people love it. Oh yeah, when the park was interviewed about this ride, it was like on the same like we wouldn't RMC this because everyone loves this ride, it's like the family coaster here. And uh, I don't blame them, it's definitely a popular thing. Ah, here's the big bank vault stage, stage situation. 
Yeah, I know. It was not good. It wasn't nearly as good as it was back in when we rode last time, 2018. Um, it was honestly painful. I mean, they retract a lot of it. You can see where it tracked well. But even then, the turn stick is too big. They shuffle so much. And the premier restraints are just not friendly to that. Um, yeah, we're not riding this again. We'll ride the SLC again. We'll ride everything else again. I'm, but, uh, I'm big sad because Alex I really liked it in 2018. I'm be sending like videos to my dad, like in the station. Like, I oh my was God, really remember excited this. to ride this so again. Fun, so fun, so great. I was pleasantly surprised in 2018, and this time I was unpleasantly. Good fit for the park. It wasn't surprised. completely effing terrible, but it also just there were just parts. It of was the ride painful. That, some parts sh that shuffled side to side when it was really inappropriate, like not going that fast. Yeah. Um, I mean, the train thing is very big for some of the movements on the track. Because it has some of the like, little S-turns and stuff. We rode in the very, very know. front, and it just felt like we took the brunt of, we took the hits. of everything. The only thing I can think of is if it's like better in the pack, but I, we may not you care know, to may find not care out. To find out today. We've got a lot of stuff we're going to ride. We'll see how the rest of the day goes. Let's get on high fall. Let's get on time yeah. riders, all yeah. the kind of stuff. Let's do that. <laughs> little pizza snack. And we have a apple sugar. Though. This is like a German apple juice that's carbonated. Fave. Little snack right here in the Wild West area, Pizza Depot. Next up, we're gonna hit High Fall, and then we're gonna hit Town Riders. I know I mentioned earlier already, but that is the new plan. Pizza first. Pizza first. We just got off of High Fall. We survived. Woo. We survived the crotch, the crotch crushing crush. So this is one of those gyro towers you mentioned where you stand up. Yeah. Probably literally, Probably you stand up. Made. They stand up on the floor. There's holes for your legs, and then like you dangle on pretty much a crotch. On like a bicycle seat. On like a bicycle seat. And like as a kid, I was so obsessed with this thing. I rode it, God, back to back to back to back. Now it hurts me a little more than I remember. Well, it used to. Well, it also doesn't tilt anymore. Tilting it used to tilt. forward helps take alleviate some of the pressure, pressure yeah. off of your crotch area for catching you. And now it's like, nope. <laughs> Not happening. Oh nope. look, it's time riders exiting. Oh wow. All right, so we are now on our way to Time Riders. I like, there's their top spin. We'll do a little look at what may be the most intense top spin in the world. This thing has like a program, if it's still the same as years ago, that runs like three or four general programs in a row. It's pretty intense. NYC Transformer. the building right next to it which is time riders now i haven't ridden this since 2011 so i don't know if they updated any effects what's changed if any oh, wait, it's still going see it's still going this thing like literally lasts forever cycle after cycle after cycle oh top car please <laughs> Going on forever. <laughs> I, I, I can't do it anymore. It's like one flip. It's not nothing crazy. <laughs> I, when I rode it in 2013, it flipped like eight times. Oh, girl, yes. But it's also been cycling for a second, so I don't know. I don't know what the story is. So here's Time Riders. Doesn't look too busy. So this used to be the Batman Simulator way back in the Warner Brothers days. And then it turned into a time traveling simulator attraction and uh, I am more than curious to find out if it's still holding up. Alex has never ridden it so Alex has to uh, experience this for himself. Let's go. What a nice presence. They're really nice presence.
old bones are still here. The old infrastructure of this massive ride. So we just got off of Time Riders. Um, actually, it's really cool. Currently raining, but it's very, it's raining. very sunny out. Huh? <laughs> you know, it's like almost like a Florida sun rain. Anyway, um, really, really awesome. Yeah. Uh, way better than I remember it's being. Intense and, it's a very and intense a long ride. simulator. Probably one of the most intense simulators ever ever ridden. It's like Star Tours on steroids. Yeah. Smaller vehicles, but really spacious. And the um, God, the pre-shows. There's like several major pre-shows before you got to the simulator. So setup is massive. They had eight simulators. They only used four because when it was built, they were always expecting maybe perhaps a higher attendance back in the Six Flags Warner Brothers days than was realistic. But overall, really, really fun. I really enjoyed it. Quality really isn't terrible. Um, fun ride, definitely would really ride this again. Some spectacular. <laughs> some really spectacular free shows. Yeah, um, the, the, the grandiosity like of it is just awesome. So if you look over here, you see all these buildings around? That's all yeah, part of the pre shows. All part of just this one ride. And, and then behind NYC Transformers is where all the eight simulators are found. Really cool. I mean, I'm glad we rode it. sense because for a movie park, Especially coming off of the influence of like Star Tours and Back to the Future. I think a major simulator ride was like important, yeah. Your big high profile motion simulator ride was like your focal point. And this is definitely a focal point for this park. Um, whether it's this current iteration of the park or when it was Warner Brothers, it was the Batman ride, which of course that was their highest uh, value intellectual property uh, attached to an attraction. So. Uh, really cool. It reminds me a lot of um, the action theaters at the Paramount Parks, which were about the same time as this. Um, like, like, like but kind of medium-sized parks that were getting into the movie studio game were, were perfecting the, uh, the crowd motion simulator art form using a bunch of different uh, kinds of media source materials and, and uh, pre-show sequences and like but this is great i really the pre-shows were i think my favorite part the ride was yeah really it's enjoyable. nice it's cool no i really it's, it's in way, way better shape than i expected really really fun um if you had the time i would say check it out i mean there's some better stuff here but definitely if you have a chance yeah, to check out time riders i, we I think you'd enjoy it before. yeah because i missed it in 2013 yeah, my last time was 11 years ago that I wrote this, so and in 20, yeah, I was kind of scared, like maybe it's not what time. I remember it being, but it was actually quite fun, it was good, um, I enjoyed yeah, it. worth the trouble. guys we're now on our way to move park studios again we've done everything we want to do at least once yep. so now we're on now to we're our to third run the best ride in the park <laughs> alex goes to the best ride i have a hard time picking the best ride in this park i don't there's some really good stuff here but this is definitely up there that's for sure Alrighty, next okay now this is shopping we probably own so much move our Germany merch we're like really obsessed with this place but um yeah because Sven has movie yeah Sven has some of our stuff we're actually wearing move park stuff underneath our Coaster Kings hoodies today so you know Coaster Kings uh, move park all around 
I think the funniest thing is we went to China and we rode, um, we went to HB World, HB World and we rode some coasters in our roof bar outfits. HB World is a movie studio themed the music park. And some like follower recognized our shirts and stuff, got all excited. Yeah. That was cool. So we're gonna get to hit a couple more rides, reruns. The park uh, closes rides in about an hour and 20 minutes because they closed them early, kind of like Hyde Park. So we're just gonna get on some stuff and we'll get back to you guys in a little bit because I've got this to carry too. So uh, we'll see you in a minute. All right, we're wrapping up our day here at Move Park Germany. We had an awesome time. It was busy, but the park managed the crowds really, really well. So, Sarah's are pushing out nonstop. We got on all the rides we want to get on several Lines times. were perfectly reasonable. Yeah, despite the crowds. Um, you know, I think the most we made it was 40 minutes for Van Helsing the first time. We waited for Area 51 about 30 minutes both times. Um, Star Trek, <laughs> we walked on twice, and then we also waited maybe like 25 minutes one time. No, less, maybe like yeah. 15 minutes another yeah. time. Overall, they had a great, great, great visit. Park is in great shape. Um, we got all of our favorites in. We got some merchandise. We are now heading on, um, heading out out the park because the park is closed. And we appreciate you guys joining us today and Movie Park Germany. Follow us on our social yeah, media it's accounts. Movie Park Germany, thank you for having us. We appreciate you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Of course, check out the coast against the car. We got lots and lots of pictures of um, our day here in, in the report. And of course, you can find us pictures on social media as well. So thanks again for um, watching Ghost of Kings. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.